because of which they have destroyed their entire lives their entire potential they can't even stand straight for a few minutes they can't even work like a normal human being of their age because they have destroyed their minds and bodies to such level that it has become very difficult for them to get over that weakness and i want you to be strong to reject that weakness if this is not going to help you nothing will so if you have patience to listen to me till the end only then watch this video else you can do whatever you want to do you can carry on with your life carry on with your habits and do whatever you want to do but if you have patience listen to me till the end i will cover each and everything that is related to this habit each and every aspect each and every problem and also the step by step guide on how you can come out of this vicious cycle yes it is a vicious cycle it is a downward spiral motion you don't want to be there you want to be better all right so let's start it in this digital age which is saturated with stimuli it becomes very hard for us to carry on with our work right it is very easy for us to get distracted we can't keep our focus on one thing and do it for longer periods of time why because there is so much distraction because of social media because of internet that we can't focus on one thing right and it also affects our behavioral patterns it has made many people an addict social media addict gaming addict porn addict so what we'll discuss today is going to help you in any of your addictions it can be anything it can be pornography addiction it can be your gaming addiction or any form of addiction if you follow this video till the end i can assure you if you follow these steps if you apply the things which i am going to tell you you will improve your life you will be able to counter your addiction in this digital age addictive patterns are so common one such addictive pattern is watching pornography and masturbation it is a big problem for youth for young boys for young men it has become one of the biggest problems in their lives because of which they have destroyed their entire lives their entire potential they can't even stand straight for a few minutes they can't even work like a normal human being of their age because they have destroyed their minds and bodies to such level that it has become very difficult for them to get over that weakness and i want you to be strong to reject that weakness so coming to the prefab phase the time when you were not aware of what is about to happen with you when you were free when you were doing your things well do you remember the time before you indulged yourself in these habits what was your actual daily routine how did you spend your time what were your hobbies and habits how was your life then what kind of problems were you facing what was your mental state and how often did you sexualize your mind and objectify every female walking on the streets answer these questions honestly because you know the answers if you if you don't answer these questions honestly you will not be able to go further you have to answer these questions honestly okay that phase of yours was the innocent phase in which your parents trusted you and your innocency but no one had any idea what is about to come what would happen to you to your mind to your body a destructive force which would destroy your life completely to the ground which would destroy your potential your energy and the worst part is that no one was there to inform you about what is yet to come what kind of habit you might get into because of using internet because at that time see our parents people of our parents generation they had no access to internet okay if they had it was very limited so they had very less chances of getting distracted getting into those bad habits meanwhile the millennials 
and Gen Z are the ones who have used the internet the most. So they are the ones who have suffered the most. So when you were young, if you are a Gen Z, when you were young, you had no idea what is about to come and millennials were slightly suffering with those problems but there was no movement going on the internet to make you aware of what would happen if you go that path, if you go that path. And yes, it's not like your parents never told you about what to do, what not to do online. Yes, they have told you, but they have never told you it with absolute clarity. There was no depth in their explanation as to why not to do it, why not to watch porn, why not to watch adult content. They always wanted good for us, but their explanation lacked depth. See why they lack depth? Maybe the reason because previous generations were not as affected by the adult content as much as our generation is affected. That is one reason they didn't have as much access to the internet. And yes, you know, when people started getting aware about this fab addiction, this PMO, when millennials started sharing their stories, their setbacks, their problems, their weaknesses because of indulging in these habits on different dip, on different social media platforms. Only then we got to know what it actually is, what problem lies, that it was a trap which we thought was a point of relaxation and pleasure. It was a time when your parents trusted you and your innocence, but they had no idea what kind of addict you were about to become, that you would destroy your absolute potential to do almost anything in your life. And all this happened while the internet world was booming. Can you imagine it? The internet world is growing. More and more companies were coming online. More and more services were coming online. At the same time, more and more adult content websites started appearing on the internet. That is another reason why we find so many pornographic websites these days online. For many people, internet has become a source of getting pleasure and entertainment through various forms, social media, movies, web series, adult content and everything that is hyper sexualized to a level that you don't find real things interesting. They bombarded your brain with hyper sexualized content in the name of entertainment. And this resulted in the fab phase, which you know what fab phase is. You got into the habit of fapping. So let's talk about the next phase that is fab phase, the dark period of your life. When a young boy, a teenager gets into the habit of watching porn and releasing his energy, he not only loses his time, his energy, he's al he also loses his life force, his creative energy, his will, his vitality, his strength and his aura of course. He starts destroying his creative force which is so potent that it can create a new life just because he started watching hypersexualized content and he started releasing his energy, his life force. He trains his mind to only get stimulated through watching hypersexualized, unrealistic content which is far from truth, which is far from reality. This is the condition of every boy, every young man who is in the fab phase, everyone, they are training their mind to only get stimulated through hypersexualized content, through unrealistic content, which is far from truth, far from reality. And you know what happens next when a person indulges in these activities over time? He loses his interest in almost anything. He loses his energy. He loses his creativity. He loses his will to do better things in life, to make his life better. He loses courage and he just stays being a degenerate loser. This is the truth of many people, many young boys, many young men today. And many of you who are watching this video, you are probably going through this phase. And that's why you are watching this video. And I want you to watch it till the end. Because if you don't, chances are you will again fall into that vicious cycle and destroy your life. 
a man who loses his life force loses his ability to experience life at its best he just doesn't have senses to experience everything to experience birds chirping the cold breeze of wind the beauty of sitting with your family and enjoying time he has no such ability to experience these beautiful moments because he has trained his mind in a different way in an unrealistic way that everything in the real world seems virtual to him and there are numerous changes which a person goes through when indulges in masturbation and fab addiction and watching pornography some of those changes are you feel tired all day long you don't have enough will to work out to go out and exercise whenever you stand up suddenly you just get black out you don't have enough stamina you don't have enough strength you can't sleep properly you fear maintaining an eye contact with person and especially with women your face is filled with acne and pimples there is no glow in your skin you are scared to meet new people you are scared to introduce yourself to new people you are scared to go to new places to have newer experiences you just sit at your home and view your screen and do release your energy that's it that's what you do when you are in fat phase your testosterone level decreases you many times and many people many people face ed and pe erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation a problem which exists for people above 50 years of age those problems are coming to as young as 20 year old guys why so because of this one habit because they have trained their mind to only get stimulated through unrealistic content it is a stimuli which is affecting you more than it is affecting you physically it is a psychological issue more than it is a physical issue you have trained your mind in a different way you lack will to do anything you lack courage to talk to people you are unable to communicate properly with people and especially with women with girls you are scared to speak in front of a crowd because you have lost all of your confidence you don't have your life force you don't have your confidence you have drained your aura almost all the time you feel demotivated you feel depressed and anxious all the time and there are many more downsides to this bad habit which are affecting you on a daily basis and you need to do better you can do better i'm assuring you you can do better all right each individual who has indulged in these habits must have experienced few of these downsides which i have mentioned or all of the downsides which i have mentioned but you have surely experienced some of these issues even if you don't want to admit so let's jump to the next part that is post fab phase the post fab phase this is what i call the rebirth and why so because when you were in the pre fab phase you were naive you were innocent you didn't know what harmful effects certain habits will have over your mind and your body but now you know what is harmful for you what is not what is good for you what is not you have sense you have understanding of what went wrong earlier and you want to improve yourself day after day and you want to move forward with discipline this happens in the post fab phase this is what i call rebirth when you are in this phase you are in the paradigm shift to improve your life to come out of that hell which was destroying your life in front of your eyes and you were not able to do anything then just give in to your urges and release right in this phase the post fab phase you choose to do hard things you choose to do what you need to do and not 
what you felt like doing that hell which you were into felt like the end of the world because you were unable to get out of it you didn't find any way to leave that degeneracy behind it now doesn't bother you since you have decided to improve your life regardless of how difficult it gets this is the starting point of fighting any problem in the world that you choose to do the right thing this is where will matters will is everything the will to act write that down on a sheet of paper will is everything the will to act in the post fab phase you have mental fortitude will power and self discipline to choose the right path and discontinue the wrong path you are walking on this requires courage and ability to do whatever it takes to improve your life and this fortitude only comes when you decide to exit that hell when you choose to exit that hell when you act so here are some benefits which you may notice for some these benefits may come as soon as 30 days mark for some it may take 6 months for some it may take 1 year it varies it depends based on how much you are affected mentally and physically all right but these benefits are surely going to come and even if they don't just know one thing all the great things are happening inside all the great things are happening within you you don't have to worry about external changes good things are happening inside of you okay so let's talk about the benefits which one experiences after starting the nofab journey after getting into the post fab phase having higher energy levels throughout the day wanting to do more work having ability to work out for longer durations having more stamina having higher testosterone levels regaining your morning wood which you would have lost in the fab phase stronger erections sparkling eyes glowing face better communication with people having good eye contact with people and especially with women you are not scared of talking to people you are not scared of talking to opposite gender you don't feel that fear within you when you talk to ladies because you don't sexualize them you don't objectify them you are interested in them as a person the ability to speak in front of a big number of people and getting attraction from everyone from birds from animals from people from everyone you attract positivity you attract positive energy you become goal oriented you get more and more ideas to execute in your daily life you just have so much energy that you want to do different things you are excited about everything you are not tired easily you you need less time to sleep and recover meanwhile in fab phase people have sleeping issues they don't have quality sleep but when you are in post fab phase when you are in no fab actual brahmacharya celibate you will see that you need less sleep to recover and you are fresh whenever you wake up you don't need much sleep you just want to keep doing something because you have so much energy children animals birds and people are attracted to you because of your energy because of your aura because of your strong presence your life force you start getting connected to almighty you start praising small things in your life you start valuing everything in your life you feel gratitude you thank god for everything you do you want to do better in your life you want to improve lives of everyone around you you want to bring change in the society in your surroundings everywhere you want to spread positive energy you have more courage to pursue anything you have more confidence you have more will to do almost anything in your life difficulty doesn't scare you you start attracting positivity and i can go on and on with the benefits but the point is there are only benefits if you get into this habit there is no downside it is only a win win situation if you start your no fab journey if you start your celibacy journey there is 
there cannot be more reasons to make you walk on this path you need to walk on this path that's what you're supposed to do if you want to improve your life understood this lifestyle on any given day is far better than your life during your fab phase during your pmo phase and there is another thing to it you won't regret sticking to the default mode yes you heard that right celibacy is the default mode it is the default mode you add different things in your lifestyle to change it celibacy is the default mode of your life if you consider it to be a default mode you start to remove all those add-ons which you have added in your life to see what it actually is the path of discipline that's where the logic is connected to the gurukul system of indian civilization so let's talk about the connection of gurukul system from indian civilization so in ancient india in the gurukuls these are the schools and here students used to study different subjects vedas purans upanishads granth all the scriptures everything so these this gurukul system is considered to be the best education system in the world although it was destroyed by the british that is another thing so in this system in this system of education all the students both male and female was supposed to stay celibate till the age of 25 till the age of 25 everyone was supposed to stay celibate and after the age of 25 it was up to the students up to the boys and girls up to them till when they want to stay celibate most of them used to stay celibate till their marriage so that's where the concept of intimacy after marriage comes that you can have all the sexual activities only in the confines of marriage that is the society that is a strong society we are talking about all right so this is what celibacy taught what is celibacy it is brahmacharya brahmacharya means the path of ultimate potential and it goes through celibacy with devotion devotion to god this is how you reach the path of highest potential the path of ultimate potential and till the age of 25 you are supposed to stay celibate you are supposed to stay brahmachari this is the concept of brahmacharya and yes there is no compulsion of being brahmachari only till the age of 25 you can stay brahmachari forever it's up to you so this is the exact reason why students stayed celibate till the age of 25 in the gurukul system so that they can develop their skills their knowledge their wisdom and become better persons become more responsible that is the concept of gurukuls from ancient india the concept of brahmacharya the path of highest potential now let's come to the last part of this video how to counter the addiction what are the ways we have talked everything about pmo about pornography adult content masturbation everything we covered but now let's come to the conclusion that is how to counter this addiction how to fight the biggest problem of our lives how to become better if you are watching till here you are going to thank yourself you are going to thank me okay so you can thank me by doing better in life you can thank me by following this path the path that i am following so there are these 11 steps which you need to take care of if you follow these 11 steps i can assure you not only of fab addiction or pornography addiction any addiction any problem in the world can be solved whatever challenges you are going through whatever addictions you are going through or your friends your relatives are going through they can counter their addictions they can counter their problems with these 11 steps so let's start the solution phase 
Step 1. Before solving any problem, we need to understand, we need to accept that the problem exists. If we don't acknowledge the problem, if we don't admit that the problem exists, we can't solve it. A problem needs to exist if you want to find solution. Many people still live in denial. They still think that no fat is stupidity. They think that there are no harmful effects of masturbation. There are no harmful effects of watching pornography. They can't be more wrong than that. They are living in denial. And if you live in denial, you cannot improve yourself. You cannot find solution. So the first step is admit that the problem exists and it needs to be solved. This is the step one. Now, step two. Now that you know, you understand and you accept that the problem exists. Now we have to understand what it is. Why does that problem exist? What are the trigger points? What are the distractions? What are the fault lines which are leading to this problem? Remove all the trigger points from your daily life, from your daily routine doesn't matter how important it is if it is destroying your life it cannot be as important you need to pick all these direct and indirect reasons the so-called trigger points and throw them out of your system throw them out of your daily routine this is the next step remove those bad habits out of your routine so what can be the trigger points what are these direct and indirect reasons social media the biggest reason what in social media following those models unfollow them they are not serving you any purpose because for them you don't exist your existence doesn't matter as long as you are giving attention to them and even then they are just there for your attention not you start unfollowing all these models they are not going to serve you they are not going to help you become better all they are doing is destroying your life. You are letting them destroy your life. Start unfollowing each and every model you follow on social media platforms. The videos, the images which you constantly view and bombard your mind with sexualized content. Delete all those photos, delete all those videos and don't ever watch all this content, all these stupidity online and stop thinking too much about sexual activities stop sexualizing your brain because if you do that you are increasing your urges and making yourself more vulnerable to a relapse so start throwing out all the unnecessary things out of your daily routine now coming to step three we know eliminating our trigger points have always been the most difficult part right it was the impossible part we never thought we could remove all those distractions all those trigger points out of your out of our phones social media out of our minds but we did that it always felt like an impossible task yes for some people it is to some extent but not for you you have bigger goals bigger purposes for you it is just a mere thing which is trying to destroy your life and you don't want to destroy your life so you have removed your trigger points now all that is left is a good routine if not make one replace your bad habits with good habits implement good habits in your daily routine start waking up early focus on a healthy diet focus on your hobbies and passions do work out daily eat good food clean food go to bed on time don't spend much time on social media, on your devices. This is a good routine. Implement upskilling activities in your daily routine. Learn newer things. There are so many things you can do, right? And as they say, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Coming to the step four. So you have a good routine now. You have eliminated all the trigger points, all the crap out of your system, all the crap out of your daily routine and you have implemented good habits, right? Problem solved? Not yet. You are on the way to solve your problem. Now you are doing your things well. You are working out daily. You are 
not focusing on sexualized content but there will be a time when you feel urges when you feel like giving up when you feel like relapsing when you feel that you want to release what are you going to do at that time and how to counter those urges this is where the actual battle starts when you have urges and it's been a while and you feel like giving up you know what you need to do you need to do just the opposite thing you want to fap again go do push ups you want to watch some adult content go do push ups go do pull ups go do skipping burpees everything that can tire you do those things there is this sexual energy inside of you which wants a release which wants to come out and you cannot stop that sexual energy it is the greatest energy inside the human body it has the power to create a new life it is the greatest energy you cannot stop it you can only channel it you can either release it through bad habits or you can use it transform it into something creative you can upskill yourself using your sexual energy you can build your projects you can build your body you can build your life you can set your own personal records use this creative energy to your advantage otherwise if you don't if you keep on thinking about sexual activities in your brain if you give up on your urges you will either end up fapping again or if not fapping you will end up with bad dreams which is not good for you why are you looking for energies outside when you hold the greatest energy of creation within you step 5 do naam jap what is naam jap chanting the name of god whichever god you believe in you can chant any of the thousands of names of lord vishnu or lord shiv it's up to you sita ram radha krishna shri hari narayan shriman narayan whatever names you want to chant chant those names whenever you feel urges it will help you whenever you feel like negative energy is taking over your mind when you feel like you are having urges start chanting the name because the name of the lord is supreme step 6 tire your body it is the most crucial aspect if you don't tire your body you have excessive energy in you which wants a release you can either tire your body or you can release it with bad habits but you don't want to go the bad habit path you don't want to go that bad path you want to use that energy to tire your body to work out rigorously to do more to read more to study more if you don't tire your body your energy is anyhow going to get released it's better you tire your body work out daily you need to tire your mind and body every single day you cannot stop this energy you can only channel it as i said so start working more start engaging your mind and body more and as they say the more you tire yourself every day the better for your brahmacharya step 7 relapse happens when you stay in your comfort zone when you are relaxed so my advice is start staying out of the comfort zone erase that comfortable environment from your life start adapting and embracing the hard things in your life when you are in a comfortable environment when you feel warm and cozy that's when relapse happens so you don't want to stay in comfort zone if you want a better life start challenging your limits start staying out of your comfort zone step 8 discipline is eating the right food to fuel your system to fuel your brain eating a healthy diet fruits grains vegetables dairy eating the things which are not tamasic in nature things that are not junk stop eating junk food it is not going to do anything good for you occasionally i can understand but don't make it a habit don't eat junk food frequently start eating the right food you become what you eat you know that the right food fuels your system to perform at optimal levels it gives you energy to tackle your tasks daily to tackle your problems daily step 9 start taking cold showers even in winters 
till it is suitable for you medically if not avoid taking cold showers otherwise if you are fine medically take cold showers the reason is that it cools down your system and it lowers your urges it increases your dopamine levels you know that you know those things right cold water is uncomfortable especially in cold days in winters warm water has its own advantages cold water has its own advantages you know that but warm water is more for comfort and relaxation that is the ideal stage that is the ideal place for relapse for breaking your streak we need something that is helping us staying on the streak in the long term cold water helps you with increasing your testosterone levels and as they say cold water is gateway to flow energy and peace step 10 give yourself bigger purposes in your life this is one thing which can help you counter anything all of your addictions all of your laziness all of your weaknesses can be thrown away if you have a purpose in your life if you want to do something big in your life if you have goals that need dedication that need your energy time efforts you will do everything if you have a purpose and you want to fulfill it start picking your goals start destroying them one after the other start becoming better if you have bigger purposes in your life you will not waste your time energy your life force semen and resources in the wrong direction you will use them to achieve your goals to fulfill your purpose and as they say give a man a purpose and the ability to achieve it and he will crawl over broken glass with a smile the last step step 11 help others help everyone you know who is suffering from this problem just like i'm doing help your friends keep friendly challenges when you start helping others you are compelled to improve yourself so it's better you start helping others in their journey and you will eventually help your own self in your own journey and as they say if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go together all of these 11 steps will make sure that you counter your addiction with strength all these 11 steps will make sure you come out of this mental prison because this adult content industry is not going to let you go away easily provided you have an iron will and these 11 steps will make sure you have an iron will and do better in your life may radha rani bless you with strength power courage and discipline to walk on this path this path of greatness the path of highest potential you can choose to share this video with those who need it the most friends in your friend circle who are affected with this problem and if this video can help them if you think this video can help them it has helped you you can share this video with them to improve their lives to help them all right thank you very much for watching thank you